Simon, back on the south coast, how does it feel to be back? Yeah, it was nice. It was enjoyable um, to come back and, and see some old faces who I got to know so well. Um, and I think obviously with, um, I think after nine years at the club, when um, leaving during the pandemic and not getting really to say goodbye to everyone. So it was really nice to come back today and uh, certainly something I've enjoyed. How do you reflect on your time with the club? Um, you know, full of gratitude, really. I'm very proud to have had the opportunity to work here and particularly with the, you know, the shift from uh, the University of Sussex coming to such an unbelievable facility here and, you know, the growth of the academy and, you know, just playing different roles at different times within my nine years here from the 18s all the way to the first team. So um, I'm really, really proud of that. And obviously, as I said before, you know, full of gratitude for how this football club has, has helped me develop and grow as a person. So, yeah, really, really Really great and um, nice to come back and, and see one or two familiar faces. Obviously played a huge role in a number of the players who are in the first team at the moment. 30% of uh, minutes played in the Premier League were by uh, players that came through the academy here. And as I say, you, you played a massive role in that. It's something you must be very proud of. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, I was part of a, a, a very hard-working, talented team of staff. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that... Um, I got to play a part in that and, and I'm pleased that there's some, you know, it's bare fruit and some of the players now who have done so well and Graham and the, the staff have had the courage to blood some of the younger ones, which is fantastic. And, um, you know, and obviously the, to see the guys getting to play on that stage at that level of football and, you know, do so well, the, the obvious names, obviously the ones that spring to mind is Whitey, Rob Sanchez, Aaron Connolly, Stephen Alzati. So and there's many more within that as well, your Malumbis and so, you know, I think I'm really pleased that the, the guys working at the academy are getting the recognition that they rightly deserve and, and most important of all that the players themselves have had the opportunity to work on that stage and hopefully they, they go on to all have really successful careers, hopefully in an Albion shirt. All across the pitch in a process you're part of, it, it seems like there's something really good going on with the Albion Academy at the moment. Yeah, I think it's in, it's in absolute great hands. I mean, you know, John Morlin has done an, an incredible job here with... Um, with the, you know, overseeing the project, and you know, he'll be the first to say he's got good resource. But I'd be the first to say he's, you know, the way he's driven the, the academy on, um, and you know, help the staff get better, help the players get better. You know, and for me, John John Morlin deserves a huge amount of credit for what he's done. Here. Uh, nine years at the club. What stands out as your biggest highlight? Do you think? Oh, nice easy question. Yeah. No. I, I really feel overall it was, um, I think when the club finally made the breakthrough and got into the Premier League, you know, obviously I was part of, in, in different roles in the, the disappointment of the playoff seasons, three years on the trot, we missed out in the playoffs and, you know, the, the game at Middlesbrough, which was on the staff form, we missed out on promotion by point or goal difference or, you know, something really tricky. So, um, I think when the club made the breakthrough in the Premier League, it was, um, it was special, you know, obviously the, the effort and that everyone had put in and the finance and the support Tony Bloom, man at the top, you know, so for them to have that moment and finally and the supporters and the academy, everyone to to make that step and break into the Premier League and stay there it has to stand out. But, um, you know, and I think what's happened off the back of that is the academy boys coming through in the first team is, um, you know, will perhaps be the cherry on the cake. Now you're working in men's professional football as a, as a manager. How are you finding that? Yeah, brilliant. I mean, as much as I've left one, you know, outstanding club, I do believe I've joined uh, another outstanding club at the beginning of a, a big project. So um, it's, it's been challenging. The games last year, I think we had, you know, 28 games in, you know, 14 weeks perhaps. So, you know, that that was fairly relentless, but actually, you know, that's what drives you on in football. So working with the, the players at Stockport and um, and uh, really, really honest, hard-working bunch. We've got a talented group as well. So I've really enjoyed it and I'm hoping that we can make a good start this season.